the purpose of this organization is to bring more respect to the profession and to make a better life for the strength and conditioning coach and their families. Our coaches that are certified by our organization are truly schooled and skilled in the business and have the appropriate knowledge, skills, techniques, and expertise to do an outstanding job, whatever college or professional uh, team that they go to. This is a true organization that has its underpinnings with excellence, integrity, and what you need to have in your arsenal to go forth and be a great strength and conditioning coach. I was here 17 years ago when it started, and it's been fun to watch it grow. Uh, they do a great job with the conference to see all the young people coming in, letting them have a chance you know, to, to start networking and maybe get their first job, which is always an exciting moment. And then for us to see everybody else that's been here as long as we have, it's always fun to come back and reconnect. When we first started and we first met, there were about 12 of us. You know, now there's over 1,400, uh, 13 vendors, as a matter of fact, and now we've got like 315 or 316 vendors. I have no question in mind that it will grow this big and it'll, it will get bigger, you know, because we'll continue to bring more and more people in. The SCC certification is without a question the gold standard in the industry. We want to make sure that our coaches can take the science and apply it in a simple and practical manner so those coaches that go through our certification process they have really got a credential that really means something because there's absolutely no question that they're qualified to go out and do the job in an extremely professional manner. This is such the gold standard of our profession because by being able to have hands-on learning how to coach and that's what we were looking at and testing today can you physically and safely coach a team you're going to increase the risk of getting somebody hurt and that's the last thing any of us want to do it is really good that we are taking it to the next level where we're making sure that you know how to on your feet coach and do it safely. The master strength and conditioning coach is something that everyone should be able to strive for. I'm one year away and I can't wait. I'm already planning who I want to have put on my jacket. Um, me walking up there for the last 13 years I've been going to the dinner and you just see all these great coaches and you hear all their stories. I can't believe I'm almost there. I think the largest benefit is this is such a tremendous job market for young coaches and this is a fantastic opportunity to come here to try to land their first full-time coaching position. This is my first experience to kind of um, stepping my feet into this career, into this field. Um, so I'm super excited to just get that experience and network with people, start my career, start blooming. It's just great, you know, you're not alone. You know, we spend our times away with our teams and stuff like that, but coming here and meeting everybody, having the same passion as you, you know, it makes you appreciate the profession a lot more. And just having the opportunity to work under fantastic people and mentor myself, I only feel like I'm obligated to kind of share that knowledge with, with everybody else. So it's super rewarding for me, and I just appreciate the opportunity. Try to take something back with you every year. It's going to make your program a little bit better. It, it may be something educationally. It may be something you, in a conversation with a coach at the social, it's something that makes you better. You know, it makes your program better, makes your staff better, helps you relate better with the athlete. You know, helps you relate better with the coach. Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm at Disney World. You know, right here in Orlando, we can do our conference and learn this. And last night I was going back to the hotel, and who gets to see the fireworks over Cinderella's Castle every day? It was wonderful. I will see you in Dallas, Fort Worth. <laughs>